So in this video, we're going to look at some upgrades and mods that you can do to your 1.8T. We're talking about the early 20 valve version, not the later TFSI direct injection version. So there's other videos dealing with the more modern engines, but we're just focusing on that classic 20 valve. And in this video, we're going to specifically focus on those higher power mods. So you want to take it beyond the 300 horsepower up to the, say, 500 horsepower level. And we're just going to look at some of the problems, some of the challenges you meet, and some of the upgrades. So we're going to be talking about different turbo upgrades, ways of actually strengthening the block so it can cope with the extra power and answering the question as to whether you actually need to do this. And we're just going to look at some other ways of getting to your power target more cheaply and more easily. On turbo choices on the 1.8T, there's quite a big array to choose from. The K04064, as fitted on the next gen Audi S3, is certainly one of those top spec parts that a lot of people are aiming for. But if you want power of about 400 horsepower, that will certainly get you there. But bear in mind that this doesn't really start spooling up and delivering the power till about 2,500 RPM. So the bottom end is going to feel quite lifeless. So if you can live with that and you just want that headline big power figure, then certainly by all means go for that option but for most people i would strongly recommend you just stick with the ko3s or a hybrid that uses the ko3s shell and it's just been machined out to take a different profile of turbines to give you the spool characteristics that you actually want for your project so for the more adventurous you'll be looking at fitting a stroker kit the 1.8 tfsi bottom end has often been used in the 1.8T engine. That can be used to increase the stroke, change the compression ratio, and just really helps you with more capacity in the engine, obviously, to make more power from the mods that you do. If you're aiming at going beyond 550, 600 horsepower, then it's a good idea to get a girdle kit to just strengthen and reinforce the engine. There's a lot of stresses, a lot of flexing goes on, and the girdle kit just keeps everything firmly in place. It can prevent all sorts of problems from happening further down the line after you've been tuning the car and using it in anger on the road. So most people would say the head is really the restriction. You've got the 20 valves, so it's certainly better than most of the heads out there. But if you want to look at serious power improvements, then focus on the head. Getting the head ported and flowed can make substantial differences to the velocity of the air going into the engine and remove any potential restrictions or bottlenecks there. It also aids the atomization of the fuel if done properly. So you're extracting that little bit more power from every drop of fuel that's going into your engine. So don't skimp out on the water pump or the oil pump. The cheaper alternatives have been causing all sorts of issues from leaks to early premature failures. The OEM water pumps are plastic, which is not a great idea in a performance engine. So a manufacturer called HEPU or HEPU, let me know in the comments how to pronounce that because I've not found any definitive answer. Um, but they make a really nice strong metal component water pump, which lasts much longer than those standard OEM plastic ones. In terms of the oil pump, we'd recommend the Pierberg oil pump. That seems to be a really good option on the 1.8T engine. Again, let me know in the comments what your experience has been with oil pumps. I really want as many different opinions as possible. So turbocharger upgrades and mapping are really the best routes to go for fairly easy power gains on the 1.8T. Check out our 1.8T tuning video because that really goes into all of these mods and just explains what you can expect when you start changing the turbo or increasing the flow rate in the ECU. ECU or changing the tune within the ECU. When it comes to upgrading the injectors on the 1.8T, the thing you've got to bear in mind is it's a 20 valve design. Most cars have a 16 valve design. So swapping out the injectors from other manufacturers of car is often counterproductive. The spray pattern is optimized to assume the fuel is going through two valves, when in reality on the 20 valve head it's going through three valves. So just a bad choice of injector can affect the spray pattern. And if you're wondering why you're down on power, not achieving the full potential of what you thought you were putting into the engine, it could just be down to something silly like the wrong spray pattern on those injectors. The 1.8T engine, the 20 valve version, is one of the most phenomenal engines out there. I can see why it's got such a big following, such a passionate following of people dedicated to tuning it and extracting more power. People ask me if it's a reliable engine. You've got to remember that these engines are getting on for 20 plus years old now. So any engine of that age is going to potentially be unreliable. But as many people are going to be stripping it down and rebuilding it, you're back up to that original legendary factory reliability. So a lot of people would say the 1.8T 20 valve was one of the last good engines from the Volkswagen group. And 
it certainly does tick those boxes. I've got other videos coming out on the more recent engines from the Volkswagen Group, the Gen 3 or the Evo revisions that they've done on the TFSI engines. So you might be interested in just sticking around to watch that video when it comes out, just so you can compare what Volkswagen Group are up to now with what they did on these early engines. I want to do a definitive tuning guide to the 1.8T engine, so I really need your feedback and your experience to make that happen. And I'm really grateful for all the people that have so far left comments on the videos that I've done. And um, that's really helped to broaden my knowledge and share the knowledge with the community as a whole. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. Let us know in the comments what car you've got, what project you're working on, what mods and upgrades you're planning for it. That'll help me to shape future content. So so I can produce videos that are actually of specific interest to you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you don't miss out on the great content that we've got planned for your engine in the very, very near future. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and check out this video that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.